DIY tie-dye coffee filter and flower. Things you will need. Coffee filters, food coloring, water paint, if you don't have coffee color, ugh, food coloring, water, toothpicks, cups, glue, magazine clippings, and scissors. This is one of our finished products, and here is another. It looks different. There's not as many coffee filters as this one, but I think they still look very really cute. First, you will need a cup with a little bit of water, and then you're going to pick your food coloring. When you get that, you're just going to pour a few drops of food coloring into your water until you think it's dark enough, and then you're going to get your toothpick or skewer and stir it. You stir it until all the food coloring looks like it's stirred in. Next, you're going to fold up your... Um, Flatten coffee filter. Yeah, flatten coffee filter into whatever kind of pattern or shape that you're thinking it should turn out to be. Um, we're only using one color right now because we've already made some that we're going to use. So I'm just going to dip the tip and dip the other side. And make sure you have somewhere to work with the food coloring and you can wear gloves if you do not want it to get on your hands, which mine have already got on my hands. And this is what mine looks like after folding it. And then another way that you can do it is get your coffee filter and just get the skewer and just kind of like throw it on. And you can just figure out your own ways to do it also. So after I did all kind of little lines and dots, this is how mine turned out and my other one is still drying. But we have already did some last night and you're gonna need like, it depends on how thick you want your flour to be, but you're gonna need a couple. This one's one that we just scrunched up and turned out pretty. And you can dip them a ton and they'll look like this if you do two colors. This one is with lines where you fold it like a fan and then you fold it this way once. And so now we're going to show you how to make the flower. So now you're going to want to get your glue, scissors, and magazine clippings. I'm using circles for the center of my flowers and I'm also using some little rectangles and squares. Um, you're going to need some type of glue. I would suggest not stick glue, but it'll work. So first, you're going to want to grab your coffee filter. Um, let me just show you how to fold it. You're just going to grab one, and you're going to fold it in half one way, then again. And you can fold it any way that you want, but this is how we're going to, this is how we fold it, and you just fold it once this way. You just fold it, it like this, and then you cut it. And sorry about my cats, like they're running around. So this is how this one looks like. Just got all these little frillies. And I'm going to make some more. And I'll show you that in just a second. Um, so first, uh, we just folded these. And I am going to show you a technique. And I keep mine folded into the fours. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go like this. And then over here... I'm going to cut a slit like this and then cut it down like that so it's like a smaller piece. So it's a smaller petal than the other one and then you're going to cut the full one and then you want to cut across and then the smaller one. And then across. And when you unfold it, it is a flower that has every other petal. Like that. 
And then um, I'm going to show you another technique that I like to do is I like to go, I like to cut all my petals like this. Cut all my petals how they're supposed to be. And then I like to go like this and make it like a chevron -y top. This. So it's kind of showing, I guess. And you're just going to cut corner to corner until you have all of your things. And then you have like a chevron on top like this. And now I'm going to open it. And it looks like this. So the first one we showed you was this. The second one was this one. And that one. I know there's many other ways you could do it, and there's one more that I will show you. So the one that I'm going to show you is going to be kind of cool. So you're just going to fold it in half this way. Fold it up like that. And like that. I'm not sure if it matters how you fold it, but we'll figure it out, I guess. I don't know. Whatever. And then you cut it down like that okay hopefully this works this time ah it's almost unfold okay so then you have like a little day one and some of them might come off or might have big holes in between them because the way you cut it but this is how it will look like and if you would like to know like how to do these little white spots everywhere you just fold your paper different ways Okay, so if you don't have any scissors, you can always just fold your coffee filter in the fours that we've been showing you, and then fold it again. We already have a folded one, and we're gonna fold it again like this, make sure it's even. And then you're gonna take it, and you're just gonna rip it. Like, oh gosh, it's hard. Okay, don't rip it, oh there. Rip it. If you, I this. think it would, yeah, like that. Yeah, and just rip down because it's hard to rip in this. And then just rip down, and you'll have ripped petals. And I think it looks really cute. So if you don't have any scissors at your house, then or you can't find any, you can always just rip it. And you can always find different techniques how to rip it. I'm just showing you one of them, and then when you open it up. You, I have shorter petals because I didn't rip all the way down, but I still like things that think it looks really cute. And since I don't like how it like looks right here, I'm gonna rip it here. 